Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I will be giving you a review of the Minxy. Minxy is a variable voltage wooden box mod made by Mamu. Mamu does not sell her mods on a website, but rather off of an email list. Instructions on how to get on her list are located in the link below. The Minxie at time of publication of this video is not for sale yet, so you're certainly not too late to get on her list so that you could stay informed about when the Minxie will be shipping. So, let's take a look at the Minxie uh, compared to some other things. First, what I'd like to do is show it to you next to an 18650 battery, just so that you can get an idea of the size. I'll take the atomizer off over here, show it to you next to a silver bullet. So you can see the size next to a silver bullet. As you can see, it's rather short and relatively thin. Here is the front of the Minxi. You can see the laser etching of the artwork done by Mamu on the front. When we take a look at the back of the Minxi, you can see the knob that allows you to adjust the voltage of, of the Minxi. Those dots refer to three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, and six volts. You will also notice in the upper left-hand corner of the Minxi an LED light, which we will talk about in just a moment. Looking inside the Minxi, you can see the area on the bottom where the 16340 batteries are. You can use either ICR 16340 batteries. I had some uh, black AW ICRs that are, uh, they say they're RCR 123As, but they, they fit and worked just fine. It also works with the IMR, also known as Hydrain 16340 batteries, which I have in there now. At the top, of course, you can see some of the circuitry and a three position switch in the upper right hand side, which I will also talk about in a moment. When we look at the back of the cover of the Minxie, you will see that they are all numbered and signed by Mamu. This one says click bang because it was made to be given away on my tele on my on my radio show. I was trying to come up with an idea of what to do for people to win the Minxie, and I found this lovely girl on YouTube, and her name is Minxie. As you can see, she has black hair. Green eyes and extremely large breasts. Minxie. It seems that um, hmm. she only talks about <laughs> nonsense. It doesn't Minxie. matter. Minxie yeah, it doesn't matter what she's saying. That's that's not what she's for. This is this is what she, this is this is what she, this is good. This is what you want. So it turns out that Minxie's fans make her all of these uh, these crazy YouTube videos and and. One of the people who did uh, made this one of a, of a cat licking a spoon with her theme music in the background. So uh, that, that, that is where I got the idea for the contest. I made people make hilarious pictures of cats and uh, make them say weird things about the Minxie. And... Um, I don't know who won because this was shot before the winner was announced. Getting back to the performance and features of the device. This is a 1.5 ohm Cisco HH357 atomizer. I have it set to about uh, 4.7 or 4.8 volts. Uh, excellent performance. Uh, that is probably higher than most people like to use their low resistance atomizers. Um, I can certainly show you dialed back down to about 3.7 volts as well. Super performance. Really good. Let's go ahead and throw on a... Um, a Bogue 3 ohm Cardo that I have here in a VPX tank. I do like on Cardomizers and tanks, I do like to use the 510 510 adapter that was provided. Uh, using HH357s, I prefer 
to just screw it on naked. Uh, I will turn it up all the way to 6 volts, as this is a 3 ohm cartomizer. Finally, I will show you a Smoketech dual coil 1.5 ohm cartomizer. It actually rang out to um, 1.44 ohm, so I'm definitely going to dial that back to right around just a crack under 5 volts. So as you can see, this is able to uh, put out any wattage that under normal circumstances you would want to use. Um, let's, before we go to measurements, I'll show you some underload measurements. But I do want to talk a little bit more about some of the features of the mod. First of all, Minxie comes with Minxie and this set of instructions over here it tells you everything that you want. So it comes with the Minxie, it comes with a 510 to 510 adapter, and this very, very thorough list of instructions. It also goes over some of the safety features. Minxie has under voltage lockout, short circuit protection, over temperature protection, and over current protection. When we peel back the cover, that switch, um, that switch over here has three positions. All the way up is on, in the middle, off, and all the way down turns on this LED light. That light shows you your battery life. You have to live with this for a while. I've, I've lived with a, a Merlin, which has the same exact feature. And uh, it's certainly not as good as having a zero to a hundred scale or anything like that, but it certainly does, uh, it does let you know where your battery is over time. You get used to how the, how the light dims as you use it. Uh, it'll get to a point where it'll be very, very dim, and then you know to change your battery, eventually it'll go off, and then it's really, really time to change your batteries. So I will just go ahead, shut that off, and turn the Minxie back on. At this point, I'd like to show you some under load testing on the Minxie. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on, which allows me to use my Fluke to show you under load testing. I'm going to turn it up all the way and put on this Bogue 3 ohm cartomizer in the tank that we were looking at before. Grab my Fluke. And you will be able to see, hopefully, So with a 3 ohm cartomizer turned all the way up, we got about 6.03 volts uh, under load, and that works out to about 12 watts, a little under 12 watts. I, it's about 12 watts. Um, I'm going to take the dual coil, which again measured at exactly 1.44 ohms. I'm going to leave it turned all the way up, not that you would want to use it at that high of a heat, even even I don't like that much heat, but rather just to show you what the Minxie is capable of. So as you can see, it's it's almost six volts. It's like 5.95, I think. Yeah, that's actually 5.95. So, um, again, you're, you might not want to vape at that temperature. You're nearly halfway to a light bulb. But it does show you uh, what this device is capable of doing. That works out to about 24 and a half watts. Um, again, I don't know that anyone would like that. I just wanted to show you what this device is actually capable of. Just despite its small size... It is a it is a flamethrower. Um, I, I can't see um, I can't see a situation where you'd want to uh, you'd want to draw more more wattage or more current or put out more voltage under load than this little wonder is capable of. Uh, the Minxie comes in Podoc, which is uh, this which you saw in the color pictures before, as well as Teak, which is a lighter a lighter colored wood.
I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Minxie. Thank you much for watching.